Hi and welcome to the Unquendo Guitars Workshop. My name is Daniel and this is the first video in a series where I'm building a commissioned Unquendo guitar. So I've got everything right here. I've got all the hardware and all the wood and timber I require for this guitar build. And because this is a commissioned guitar, I'm not going to talk as much as I used to, but I'm going to really focus on building this guitar.
Yeah, like I said, there won't be a lot of explaining or talking in this video. I really try to focus on this build. But if you're interested in any of the techniques I'm using in this video, yeah, you can browse my YouTube channel. I've done at least one video on any technique I use during this build. With that said, the neck we're making for this guitar is coming along nicely. Of course, I've made sure the neck blank was nice and flat before routing the truss rod channel and installing the truss rod. Cutting out the shape using the new Laguna uh, 1412 bandsaw uh, and my router table to get the final outline of the neck. And then of course I cut the headstock break angle and sanded the headstock to thickness. So now with the neck in this stage, it's time to focus on this lovely wild ebony fretboard. Yeah, the neck is coming along nicely. For now, I'm done shaping. My client just left and together we figured out the best 
neck profile to suit his hands and playing style. And yeah, after he left, I finished up the volute and made, it, made the <laughs> entire neck nice and smooth. And now it's time to do some custom inlays in the fretboard and some dots. And after much consideration, we decided to do as little as possible to this fretboard. My client did want uh, personal detail on the first fret position and some very tiny four millimeter dots along the edge. So yeah, let's make the inlay.
all 24 frets are pressed in and as a first for me these are stainless steel jumbo frets <laughs> so presumably it will take me a while to dress all the ends level them reground them and polish them and get them to the same level of quality that i'm used to for my fret work <laughs> My client requested the last part of his fretboard to be scalloped, so from the 17th fret onward. And the easiest way I found of doing a scallop is just take a round file and file in the scallop in between the frets. I've marked the depth I want my scallop to be about 2 millimeters, and the only way forward is just yeah, start filing.
and here we have a guitar neck all nice and done and almost ready to go into the guitar body which I'll be making in the next episode. I hope you liked this format of me talking less and showing more. I know for me it's a welcome change and I'm curious to know what you guys think so yeah let me know in the comment section down below and if you like this video you can also let me know by hitting that like button it really helps out a lot so yeah like i said next video will be me making the body for this guitar and i think the total length of this video series will be i think three or four videos depending on how it goes so yeah if you like to follow along make sure you are subscribed to this channel and have your notifications turned on so you get notified when i upload something new yeah i hope to see you all in the next video but until then as always have a nice week